All right, so this is uh, just a quick little video about the designer program uh, that uh, we continue to always evolve um, and where it's at. Obviously, you see the main screen here. You'll be able to go in and click an image. This would be an image that uh, has been sent to you by a client, or it could be something where, um, uh, I'll just get into some of those desktop ones. I think I have something in here. I'll just use this one. Um, or it could be something where you take a picture and load up yourself. So regardless, this will load up. Um, might take a little bit. This is on a URL link. Uh, the biggest thing to kind of look at is that you, first of all, as decorators, you look at your decorator line. I'm just hitting my mouse here. I'm hitting it again. And I'll just go all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm stopping. So a lot of times I like to hit done so it's locked in. I go back to it. All I do is take my mouse and I'll hold my button down. And then I can do two different things here. A, if I know that whatever length that is, let's just say that that's uh, 16 feet, then that's 16 feet. As you can tell, the two lines I've made will be 32 feet. I go in here and do select product. We'll just do a standard you know, red and white theme over to the right. I can scale this back a little bit to kind of make it look this way, make it a little darker so everybody can see it. As you can see, is as soon as you know the scale of one part of that house, the whole picture will be scaled properly. So you can see it's 16 and 16. And what I mean by that, if I go down here and I go, I do another decorator line. Well, I had to hit decorator line. Decorator line here, and I go all the way across. That's 37 feet. I go in here and hold my button again, select product. This is where you have to kind of still scale it to what, you know, what your best feeling is. Um, the nice thing is that these lines can move around. If you want to move those right above the, gut, the gutters, you can. Remember, this is a rendition to your client. You want to take those lights off, the length off, you can do it like this as well, take that off. But as you can see, your total is starting to build up, right? So if I go through here and I go like just to here to here, I might have to go a little bit further because it gets close to that way and then you can expand it out. Um, so there's always a little working room there to kind of move around. Move that down like so, move this closer to the edge. Move this one up a little bit to the edge as well. These are just a little of the small details that go a long way when you're looking at it. Uh, we'll go in and hit done. I do another decorator line. So I go here, here. Some like these trees, I still have to go over it. It's an overlay. Uh, unfortunately, we're still working on how to kind of get it behind it. Um, but that's something that we continue to work on to see what we can do on technology. Um, right now, I mean, obviously, it's a, it's a free designer out there in, in the world. So we're not really looking to make tons of money on it. But you can see what I'm doing here. All right, so let's say that's done. Now you're, I mean, you look at this, you're about 102 feet in decorating, maybe go 120, give or take. Let's say that they want um, something here on, you go to the Christmas, let's say we want to do some multi-glimmer sprays. I size these down. I, this is the fun part. Because you got to remember, these are about 36 inches, so it's about right like this. But I can double click my mouse and another one shows up as double click as so, right? Let's say I bring it over here and then do that one like so. Um, same thing if we're gonna go into decorators and let's say we're gonna put a something in this tree. This is a, like, a, like a supernova. We just come to bring this down here, double click. And so on. Always do threes in those trees. Let's see here how it looks. You can even make it a little darker if you need to to kind of show the client some more. Um, one of the cool things that we also carry in here is let's say if you wanted a wall washer, and uh, let's just use this one example. You can scale this down a little bit. Let's say you're going to do this up right here. This is an example. You can do this this way uh, for events. But if you click onto this, you can actually change the, the pattern, you can change this, well, you can go the size, and then um, then you can do the spread as well. And that goes this way. You can do the spread wider and so forth. And then you can change colors as well. 
if you need be. So that's kind of cool uh, when you're doing the outdoor wall washer that you can add that to any element. Um, and then there's some other decor, obviously Christmas decor, you can kind of throw this in there. One of the things like on, I put this in here just to kind of do railings. Obviously this is another sizable thing where, oops, wrong thing. You gotta make sure you're clicking on the right deal. Oh, it's over here, sorry. That's a rotation. This is the size down. So let's say if I was gonna go around this column right here, like so. Remember, you can just do your best to get it as close as possible. There's a lot of other things in here, trees um, and so forth. I know sometimes it's hard to kind of do the arches in Garland. Um, I'll show you how to do those. Let's say if we're gonna put a snowflake, you know, in each window. Make it look a little better that way. Um, I'll create a decorated line. So if I do like this, and this is just an example, I hold my button down. Let's see if this shows up. And you can scroll down and then there's garland here. If I took that off, you can see where you can kind of mark that up. Obviously, those little buttons will be gone when you hit this done. So it's like so. That's how you can kind of do an archway in Garland. Um, kind of work that way. So other than that, after that, you uh, if you want to delete something, you just hold your button down. And then it says delete. And you can delete that. Just like I want to delete this here. And then you can just delete that as well. Or you can do a reset. One thing that is hard is I don't, we're working on uh, med, uh, the saving projects and stuff. I'm working with the development team, send some over a list of things for them to do. Um, so then this will be a delete. So, so there you go. I save the button and I save the image. It goes in your download. You can move into whatever folder you need to look at. And there you go. And now you can send out to your clients in a proposal. You can do it as a, just a quick little text to them as well, you know, as you have on your phone. But this is how you're able to increase your sales and keep on rolling. So hopefully that'll help you look at the designer app. It's very simple. Get used to working with it. You'll find ways around to make your designs and your renditions uh, more of a sellable thing. So thank you very much. Talk to you soon.